Zlatan fact. When we need to find something, we ask Google. When Google need to find something, it asks Zlatan. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Let's Play AC Milan in the Football Manager 2021. And since last episode of Derby vs Inter, we played two games. First we got a very frustrating draw at home vs Atalanta. We completely dominated things. We had like 30 chances. They had like three. Uh, but yeah, still got all this and very frustrating. Then we got a, a very good win away in the Champions League group stage versus Betis. And talking about the Champions League group stage, we need to take a look at the group because we haven't done that. So we got a group together with Liverpool, Betis and Moscovy. So a tough group, but in my mind, we have a great chance to become top two. But it's going to be very difficult to beat Liverpool. Today, though, we are playing versus Napoli. And Napoli is currently in third place in the league. But as you can tell, it's very, very tight. It's just we as yeah, we have fallen behind. We're not even in a spot in Europe, so we really need to step it up. But also, if you look at the date, this means that the transfer window have closed. And uh, a few things have actually happened. And first off, if you go to scouting, I've been scouting transfer listed players. And there are a player here that I was really willing to break bank for. And that was Martinez, transfer listed from Inter. And you know, he's fantastic. He's sensational. I would gladly pay a lot of money for him. Uh, but he was transfer listed, and he is transfer listed. I believe it was transfer listed for 66 mil first. And you know, Inter may not be great fans of us. <laughs> I mean, we are AC Milan. But at the same time, the sold us Gagliardini for barely nothing. So. They have sold players to us in the past, but I made an offer that met the asking price, and they replied with a much higher price. And then they turned it up to like 69, and I made a new offer for 69, and then they turned it up to like 70 something, and then I made an offer for that, and then they turned it up to like 120 or something like that. So it was clear that they didn't want to sell them to their rivals. So I actually signed another striker that was transfer listed too. Uh, much cheaper, not as good as Martinez, but still really, really good. The one who joined us was Luka Jovic, transfer listed from Real Madrid for 30 mil. So not as good as Martinez, but still a fantastic player and he's only 24. I'm really happy with his signing and I'm a bit worried about all these red arrows. But hopefully it is because he wasn't playing in Real Madrid. And he's just been on the bench as he joined us getting like the last few minutes. So he's lacking match fitness and match charters and things like that. So hopefully these arrows will turn around when, uh, when he plays some more. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see with that. We also sold Caldara for 15 mil because it's going to be 15 mil. And uh, we ended up loaning out Gabia because uh, I was considering starting him. But uh, since we had too many central defenders, we're going to loan him out for one more season and then make use for him in the first team. We also, since we got uh, Luka Jovic, uh, we loaned out uh, Colombo. So he's going to have to wait longer for his uh, chance too. But as always, we are talking a lot, so let's take a look at the lineup instead. This is the way we're going to start. We have uh, one injury, is Hauge. He picked up a free week in your race down to four to eight days, so he's going to be back really soon. And we're starting with two strikers, uh, because of course we're going to play something crazy and we're playing one of the best teams uh, in the league away. So yeah, we will have to wait and see. We're probably going to use two strikers a bit more now that we have three really good strikers that need us, uh, some match time. So yeah, but the, this could be a stupid mistake to use it in a, in a tough game like this. But hey, what uh, can we do? This is the... Napoli lineup, and they have some quality, but so do, so do we, and they probably don't have a crazy two attacker formation that we have, but we will have to wait and see. And of course, Napoli has the ranch, us the ranch here, and he's a loan for us, and he's definitely going to be a starting player for us in the next season if he keeps on developing, if he keeps on developing well, because he looks fantastic right now. And we see the first highlight. It is for Napoli. Goes long, Srio clears it. This could be the counter attack. Here is Liao. Here is Liao. Here is Liao. Where are you going, Liao? We're gonna do it all by yourself. My god, that was optimistic. 
And actually, maybe not. In the last game, Dembele scored a goal like that. He basically picked it up just outside our box. He went through the whole pitch and he scored. And that was a very risky throw in from Jedwai. My gosh. And now we are under some serious pressure here from Napoli again. Maybe it's a mistake with playing with two strikers for a tough away game. But here is Gagladini. Gagladini for Milik. Milik for Jovic. Luka Jovic by himself. Could this be his debut goal? But nope. Wasn't meant to be. Long shots is actually one of his uh, weaknesses. So, And again, I feel like every highlight now starts with Napoli. And there he is, the lone out guy. Nope, it wasn't him. I was mistaken. Uh, but there is Donnarumma, and he's definitely not loaned out. Now, finally, the highlight starts with us. It's Theo with the throw in for Benasser. And Benasser, what will you do? Going for the cross, misses that one. Now, this is family, because this is how a loaned out player. Is he going to pick up a ooh, fantastic block there? Really, really nice block there from Kier. I'm going to see the corner here for Napoli. Cleared by Kier again. Kier is well. I was happy right now that I didn't uh, end up selling him. And another corner. Politano with the corner. Cleared. Here's Alexis. Could, could we do something now? Look, there's a lot of plays on the round. Play it smart now. Play it smart. Play it smart. That's not smart. Gagladini. Oh, Benasser for Theo. Benasser all the way to nothing. But we're going to see the throw in. So maybe something will happen here. It should. Something should happen. Hopefully we can intervene and turn it around though. Because this is going the wrong direction. Come on, lads. Come on. Oh, that was outside. Please tell me that was offside. <laughs> offside. Outside. The VHR check. No penalty awarded. Come on. It felt like it was outside. No penalty, yeah. My gut feeling was correct. But we're going to see the free kick, so it's not over. And of course, it doesn't matter that it wasn't a penalty. Because they scored. This is not what we wanted. Not at all. But something happens except from the kickoff. Maybe this is when we turn things around. Here is Kier for Jedwai for Benasser. 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 Liao. Liao to nothing. Come on, lads. We are the one that should be doing so oh, beautiful. Here's Alexis. Alexis again for Jovic for. Ooh, that was another very optimistic shot from Gagliadini this time. Now we have Alexis with a corner. Goes far. Cleared. No, come on, lads. Why does it feel like we're getting hit with counter attack after counter attack? Well, maybe because we are. And that's the second goal. From our boy. Because I'm pretty sure he scored the first one too. So yeah. Now guys you understand why he's going to be a regular starter for us next season. Because I believe he scored both the goals this far. Let's see if he scored the first one. I think it was him. Oh something. We have highlights of the highlights of the highlight here. We, we need something now desperately. It would be great to do something just before half time here to start. Turning things around because we are here for three points and right now that's not happening. Here's Milik. Milik, Milik for Benazza for who's Gagliadini. Could have been offside though. I'm not celebrating yet. Yeah, seems, seems like everything is fine. Great. So we are a tiny bit back in business. Milik turns it around for Benazza. Benazza one touch for Gagliadini. Really, really beautiful attack. I know. Every, what's up with this game and the highlights? It's just crazy. Crazy. But that's how it goes. Oh, nice challenge. But unfortunately, it went to the wrong place. They're actually playing really, really well there, Napoli. There is Alexis. Maybe it's our turn now to play really, really well. Alexis on the right flank. Going towards the box. We'll see a cross here. And he goes for Jovic and back and forth. Another try. And look at that, Liao. This is a crazy first half. 
like we've seen more highlights during this first half than we normally see in a whole game. Crazy, crazy, crazy first half. But we are back in business, and just before the halftime whistle toes, uh, so it's going to be very psychologically for, for them to go out in the dressing room now. Two minutes of extra time. Clock takes on. But yeah, you know what they say in Football Manager, the family is worse. Because uh, Rang's here, he is on loan for us, and he scored twice. God damn it. But yeah, he is fantastic. And there is a reason where why we uh, why we want him not back, but we are definitely going to start him next season. Gonna go attacking here. Well, we had a gazillion highlights in the first half. Not much going on in the second one. So let's take a look at subs here. But quite a few players is tired, but more or less everyone is tired. It's also the ones that are playing really, really well. I think I'm going to go with Gagliadini just because of that yellow card. So uh, let's bring on uh, Cassier. And let's keep it like this for a little bit longer. All right. Still no highlights in the second half. So let's go for the last sub. We see a 6.2. Oh my gosh. We uh, have to do something about that. Going to bring on Romagnoli. And we're going to go for the last sub. One of the really, really tired guys, Alexis, we are going to bring on Saniolo. And we have something here, Saniolo, the newly sub boy, with Jedwai, Jedwai. Back for Kessie, another newly sub boy. Saniolo, Benasser, Kessie, Jedwai, with the early cross, goes far, and look at that, it's the second goal of the evening for Liao. And we have officially managed to turn out this game. It started out like a nightmare. But now we are finally, officially back in business. Turn things around just the way we wanted it. I'm not sure though why we are playing with two strikers. Because our strikers uh, haven't scored a single one. Four minutes of extra time. Takes on. And on. And on. That's a lot more than four minutes. And at the end... It's a really, really good result. But it was a crazy game. This has been a long episode, so let's end it right now. But this comeback, it deserves that you press that like button. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.